Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Ooch, and of course, we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? So, we have some new chapters, of course. It is that time of the month. We got Boruto, we got Dragon Ball Super coming up as well. So, first and foremost, we got this brand new chapter 58 Boruto Naruto Next Generations. And uh, without further ado, we're going to get right into the right job for idiots and bastards. I had to really look at that uh typeface because it was, it was kind of spaced a little bit weird if you're looking at it on the shonen jump app of course which you all should be because that is the official and legitimate way to be reading and supporting these chapters so like i said without further ado let's just get right into it. meds that suppress otosuki uh otosuki vacation yeah they were supposedly developed for another purpose originally but if we if all goes well we might be able to expect such an effect hmm for real I won't become Momoshiki if I take these. They'll only suppress its advance. They won't get rid of karma, nor will they reverse what Otsutsukiification has already taken place. Or has already taken place, okay. No particular smell to them, so Boruto took a little whiff. Plus, there's this. The most problematic thing about them is that we have no idea what kind of side effects they may cause. Worst case scenario, there's a chance you could even die. You know, that, 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 that's that been, like, said, like, a million times in this story about Boruto himself. So, at this point, I'm just kind of like, okay. Like, I'm, like, numb to it almost. So, I'm not going to force you to take them. They'll just be one of your options. You get to decide yourself for yourself. So, think it over carefully. <laughs> he immediately pops it in his mouth. Hmm. No real taste either. Can take them dry. How many a day? <laughs> hey. Were you not listening at all? I was. Didn't you just say I get to decide? Don't suddenly yell like that, Dad. I also said to think it over carefully. What's with the flash decision? It just happened to be quick. I mean, we won't know their effect or if they even have any unless I try them out, right? It's pretty, uh, pretty valid points from Boruto. You, uh, never mind. Well, you don't feel sick or weird at all. Or you don't feel sick or weird at all. So far, no. Besides that, I realize it might take someone time to find their resolve, but in my case, I've been preparing for the worst for a while now. In terms of karma, so I'm ready there. That's why I was able to decide really fast. That's all. I'm sorry I freaked you out. So Naruto's realizing like he's, he's kind of grown up a little bit with how he decided on this. He goes, Boruto. But thanks, Dad. I'm grateful for these. Sheesh. You little. All right, next scene. So we got Kawaki. Meds. You're taking meds now? Yup. There's risk for sure, but I weighed it and decided for myself. You gotta be kidding. What about the plan to implant your karma in Code's body? If you end up dying before we get to fight him because of these who knows what, it's all a wash. I thought that was just a hypothetical of yours. There's no guarantee that'd even work. Look, I don't know how strong this code guy is, but we have a chance to win against him the normal way, don't we? Both of you, quit yapping already, says Sarada. We're here to train, so shut up and focus. Sheesh, Kawaki pretty much has no team spirit. Nope. Uh, that was from, look like it looks like Konohamaru from the stands. I thought, it, I thought I was clear. We're no match for code. And that's why we're training, says Boruto. So that we can get even a little better. All right, you two. That's enough. You're both disrupting the training. Why don't you shut it, Sarada? What's the point of sitting in place quietly anyway? It's an important chakra control drill. A real basic one. Yeesh. Acting all bossy despite being a newbie. Look, basics are good, but how many years are you planning to drill to take code down? Five or maybe ten? What a joke. Hmm. Kwaki's pretty uh harsh right now. Hey, are you putting down shinobi training? Let me remind you that you're the one who asked to learn ninjutsu in the first place. Good point, Boruto. I'm just saying that it's inefficient. It might be tradition or something, but you'd need all the time in the world. Alright, so here goes here goes uh Mitsuki. So Kawaki, what do you suggest? So he says Something much simpler that I think you'd all like, too. 
Oh, 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 okay. So he he went. He 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 tried to attack Mitsuki. Mitsuki already already caught him. All right. Boruto goes. Whoa. Hey, what the heck? Nice block, Mitsuki. You've got promise, just as I thought. I see. Train through actual combat. Personally, I could go either way. How dare he? Naruto stops. Uh. Just. Okay, yeah. Just keep watching, Konohamaru. I like blanked out for a second, obviously. Or seven. Stop making decisions on your own. I uh, Have you all forgotten that I'm the captain of this team? I actually forgot about that, to be honest. I didn't realize they had a captain for the team. But yeah, I guess it would make most sense to have Sarada be the captain. I was honed by Jigen. Ever since I was a little brat, most of his lessons were grueling combat skills. Ever, every waking hour was hell. I wished I were dead, but that wasn't possible either. I eventually started thinking that I really wanted the strength to kill this bastard who, whose face I couldn't stand. And that's when I started rapidly improving. So even though Jigen was a total bastard, it turns out his methods were actually rational and made sense. So now he now he went for another strike to Mitsuki. Mitsuki is like all game. He's just like going along with it. It's out of the that's pretty extreme logic. Are you really that dumb? Stop whining and come at me. Enemies don't just wait around, you know. That is also true. All right, I'm pissed. You're gonna regret this. Oh damn, she sends out a whole fire style jutsu. Hey, Sarada. She throws shuriken like she's really she's really letting him have. She's like, all right, you want this work? You gotta get this smoke too. What? Hey, hey, that was easily blockable. So he took a whole kunai to the arm. Oh, that was a, that was a doppelganger, of course. Pew! Oh, he ends up right behind her. A shadow doppelganger. Ooh, and Boruto defends Sarada. That's enough. What are you thinking? Chill out. It's just sparring. No one's going to die. You're the one who's too serious. Why are you so flustered? Huh? Me? Flustered? It's no use talking to him, Boruto. You need to show him by force. Sarada. Okay, but don't butt in, all right? He's mine. Oh, okay. So we're going to get the first match. Boruto versus uh, Kawaki. Hold it, you two, now. Oh, let me reread that. He said, She said, hold it, you two now? What is going on here? In short, whoever loses has to stick to the winner's way. Isn't that it, Boruto? Yup. If I lose, we'll keep training through actual combat. That cool with you, Kawaki? Hmm. Sounds interesting. I'm in. And then a freaking Konohamaru is like, what the heck do they, th what, do, what the heck do they think they're doing? Naruto's just watching. He's observing. Um, and honestly, like, I feel like at least they're being chaperoned in a way, like they're being supervised because in case anything does get out of hand, they can obviously step in and stop it. But this is a very good learn. This is a very good growing process for them. A very good learning process because sometimes you just got to figure things out on your own. This is actually a, a really good example of that. Listen, a promise is a promise, says Borto. No arguing if you lose. Got that? Kawaki says, that's my line. You better not forget your own words. Sarada, yeesh. I'm surrounded by idiots. <laughs> Alright, so we got a stare down. Boruto says, we used to fight like this every time we saw each other. Back when we first met, remember? Kawaki, I recall that you generally were the cause. Here I come. Bring it. Ooh, they both sock each other in the face. They're going back and forth. Boruto's avoiding him. Shout out Dabu Gang Jutsu. Kage Bunshin. Got some strikes. Kawaki's dodging. They're both dodging each other. Ooh, ooh Boruto with the Rasengan. Ooh, Kawaki, get, Kawaki hits Boruto's clone. Boruto says, damn it. Kawaki's like trying to shape shift over here. Looks like Boruto noticed something. Oh, what the heck? Did Kawaki just send some kind of spirit ball kind of thing? Oh my god, Boruto activated uh, his 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 karma. He absorbed it. Oh, Boruto lightning style. Thunderclap arrow. Okay. Okay, it's getting pretty intense. Kawaki looks like he tries to, to withstand the but he but he takes the hit full on. Ooh. 
Looks like Kawaki lost this round. I unconsciously tried to absorb it. Does that mean I'm more dependent on having karma than I thought? Mm, that is true. He, he, he thought that he had the karma as well, but he didn't. He, for, he almost forgot about that. Borto says, I win. This time at least. Or he says, I win. This time at least. Any complaints? Sarada goes, game over. I hope they'll stop being so rash now. Kawaki goes, damn it. I can't let myself eat dirt here. Oh, he notices Naruto's watching. Totally pathetic. How am I supposed to protect Lord Seven if I'm such a sorry in, in, if I'm in such a so, sh, sorry state? Tongue twister. Borto's like looking over him right now. There's one thing that's definitely changed since we first met. I can tell what you're thinking now, more or less. Don't carry it on. Don't carry it all on yourself alone. Lean on us more. We're your friends. Damn, they have grown, son. Mind you, these guys are like, they're like 12 years old and they're already having these kind of conversations. You might be feeling responsible for Kata targeting Konoha and dad, but that isn't really your fault. Either way, we can't leave bad guys free to do whatever they want, right? That's what Shinobi do. You're like that too, aren't you? Wow, look at that. Naruto goes, well, looks who sound, well, looks who's sounding all grown up. He's sounding a lot like you used to, Lord Seven. That's, that's facts. Yo, the apple did not fall from the tree at all. I, lo I love seeing stuff like this. So Kawaki goes, sigh, whatever. You know, big lines like that would sound better coming from someone a bit more reliable. Sarada goes, I can't believe he just said that. He lost. <laughs> what a bad attitude. Kawaki goes, well, it can't be helped. I'll stick with you a little longer and with your way of doing things. Fool, we're the ones putting up with you. <laughs> Naruto says, go for it, all of you, and may you get a lot, lot stronger. Boruto says, all right, let's resume training, starting now. Kwaki looks at his hand, closes his fist, says, I swear I'll get a lot stronger no matter what it takes. Okay, so this is a pretty, um, not gonna lie, this is a pretty kind of like humbling chapter. It's like the best way to describe it. If you had to describe this chapter with one word, you could definitely use the word humble because even though Kawaki was so used to having uh, things done in a certain way with his upbringing, he was trying to implement that with this new, you know, group of surroundings that he has now. And, you know, instead of kind of arguing it, Boruto actually, in a way, accepted that challenge and said, OK, I will allow you to bring about this new idea that we're, you know, all not used to collectively and give it a chance if you win. So because obviously Boruto read the room and he understood that Kawaki only really understands things through like kind of like a hard way or through force, then boom, he had to do just that and give him these hands and show him what's up. And this chapter was actually a pretty good one for, for Boruto in his character because obviously we learned like... You know, he might seem like he comes to decisions quickly, but he takes a lot of things into consideration. He kind of just gets right to it. And it's also nice to see that Naruto, of course, being in, as involved as he is, is is showing more of his, is, is, is constantly showing his fatherly side in this story, which is always something I'll, I'll appreciate, especially since, again, this is within the Naruto universe. The story of Naruto has been done for a long time now. Obviously, the things and the happenings that took place in his story have clearly trickled over into Boruto's. I mean, everything that's happened then clearly directly relates to everything that is happening right now in Boruto's story. And I, I do think that within everything that's been happening, it, it's kind of aligning itself up to solidify that these characters are the ones that should be taken seriously and really given all of the focus because obviously being that this is a direct sequel series a lot of us are probably gonna unconsciously or subconsciously kind of look forward to seeing any of the characters that we grew up with watching and reading 
throughout all of these years but now it is no longer their time their time has been is far past obviously they'll make their appearances they might make some fighting appearances they might really you know remind everybody why they are who they are but if you were to think about it in this tone think about it if naruto like let's say it wasn't naruto let's say the story started with like hashirama senju if it was the first hokage imagine if the if this ninja world was called hashirama instead of naruto and we saw hashirama's story first and how this ninja world was built and whatnot and we saw it up until like a point where he was like i guess like close to his deathbed right and then the story continues the sequel series with his brother and then so on and so forth Honest, honestly, there's gonna obviously there's gonna be a bunch of characters that come from the Hashirama story that will have, you know, grown to love and, you know, have a I feel like a connection with, like Madara and possibly some of the other, um, the Senju clan mates and possibly other Uchiha clan mates and other ninja and characters that would would be in this kind of time period. And then by the time that sequel, that that the the, the, the trequel comes out, we're always gonna want to see more about Hashirama or any of those characters. Similar to this way, there's always and there, there's always gonna be a point where those characters from the old are gonna still be around or somehow involved in some way, shape, or form. But we have to remember that we can't fully just expect it to be all fan service and be like oh yeah naruto this naruto that sasuke this sasuke that like if you realize both sasuke and naruto have essentially been nerfed in such a way where the focus shouldn't even be on them in the first place i mean you like no one should expect them to handle anything any new problems that might arise because as the generations progress the problems are only going to get worse the problems are only going to get bigger and the world and the universe of naruto in and of itself has expanded like tenfold just off of boruto's story in and of itself and we thought we understood how everything worked in naruto but it wasn't until boruto that we really learned what was going on with the otsutsuki clan in the first place how naruto's universe is essentially on some universal kind of thing as soon as we learn the, the truth about the otsutsuki they're aliens from another freaking planet altogether, and they go around they're they're basically like a bunch of moros they're more they're galactic freaking people all right that are going on eating planets for energy and that's how they just continue to live that that's that is their that is their um their well-being i guess you know and and those kind of issues i mean even though realistically in the way 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 background when no one was realizing this that was what's going on but we didn't know that in naruto now we do and that and that that in itself is a way bigger problem than the akatsuki a way bigger problem than any of the individual villains that they fought up to that point and obviously ending it with kaguya and everything that happened there clearly she has everything to do with the otsutsuki so everything makes sense and i'm actually very looking uh forward to seeing how uh boruto's story turns out so now let me turn it over to you guys and let me hear your thoughts about this month's chapter in the comments below please make sure to like the video i can't stress that enough and uh like share subscribe make sure you guys are tuning into my twitch for all the live streams so that you can interact with me a little bit more directly um if there's any other videos and content that you're looking forward for me looking forward to from me please also let me know that in the comments as well make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power take keep a lock loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside Ooh, excuse me and i'll see you guys next time